Hey, 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 Libra. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. This is going to be a reading for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below. And if you guys are interested in a reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. All right, so Libra, let's see what's going on for you. For your crowning of the reading, crowning this reading is the universe. So the universe is about all new beginnings, right? It is about manifestation as well with this B, this B I get abundance. And it's like there's a target here, right? So you may be starting something new and having a specific goal. That's what I'm getting. lean towards a new life that's the message that i'm getting from the b so if there's like an old life or a new life okay that you're pondering which one to go towards right maybe you want to go back to somebody from the past or you have the option of a new life that's just an example i didn't get that but that's just an example uh, then you need to lean towards the new okay so for your overall energy here you have the innocence of swords and the innocence of cups very childlike energy so we're going to see i'm going to gaze at the cards and see what the innocence of swords is clarifying that is the two of wands independence and in thoughts make sure that you're being independent in thought and not taking into consideration <laughs> this is funny too much what other people think okay go inward more open up your perspective with the two of wands okay the more that you rely on your uh, intuition and your eye that's what I'm getting your viewpoint perspective then the more your world is going to open up right and this will allow you to move forward and I feel like it's moved forward to the new because the two of wands is the new, right? Innocence of cups, clarifying this is the nine of wands. Recognition of the soul. <laughs> so you may be doing some meditating, I'm getting, and there may be a recognition of who you really are. So I feel like you may have a vision or you may get a message where it's like, whoa, I didn't expect that. I, you know, it changes your perspective on who you are. And I feel like it loosens up this defensiveness. It loosens up these wounds because there's a better understanding of why you hold these wounds and are hanging on to them. So with the Ace of Pentacles, because if you notice the monkey, the monkey is... It's like feeling loose, right? Praise yourself more. All right, that's what the monkey is saying. Praise yourself more. And this will loosen up even more. All right, so the Ace of Pentacles in the Tower, this is your challenge. Oh my gosh. So gaining or obtaining, not obtaining, taking hold of an opportunity as it's presented to you. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is judgment. And see, this is that soul recognition. This is the judgment card. This is transformation because of this soul recognition. So here's an opportunity for you to know exactly who you are. And it's not who you are on the 3D level, on the egoic level. Like, I am, you know, um, a songwriter. I am a president i am you know it doesn't matter what you are that's third dimensional you don't take that with you you take your soul with you everywhere eternally this is an opportunity for you to recognize that to recognize who you are all right but this is also a challenge because maybe your belief system holds you back they're showing me the hair font the movement of cups is clarifying the tower so let's look at the Ace of Pentacles and the un uh, <laughs> the universe, okay. 
you're going to be shown your reflection. You notice the reflection of the butterfly, right? Which is interesting because a twin flame normally would show you that reflection. Here you have spirit. So for some of you, you may have a twin flame in the spirit world, right? And not um, in this third dimension right now. So this may be the beginning communication of a twin flame on the other side. And this twin flame is showing you a mirror image of yourself so that you can recognize, okay, the depths of who you are. So taking this opportunity is pretty big. It's pretty big. And that's why the universe is crowning your freaking reading. Because it's, you know, it, it, it's universal. <laughs> oh, whoops. All right, I'm going to take that because I wasn't supposed to pick that up, and I did, and that's the Three of Wands. And I'm going to take it with the Ace of Pentacles and the uh, the Judgment card here. This is exactly what you've been waiting for. This is the light being shown to you. See the sun through the Three of Wands. That is the illumination of the soul. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. This is going to lead you to happiness. It's the awareness and the shock that's going to have you sitting still for a moment in order to process and digest this information. So let's get um, some information on the movement of cups and the tower here. Okay, releasing of the old, and that's what I'm getting, <clears throat> excuse me, with the tree. I connect with the animals in nature. So with the tree, the tree, if you notice, you know, that fire, fire is release. And like, if you, if you were to, you know, this is a common thing to do, writing down something you want to let go of. And what do people do? They burn it because they want to let go of it. And this is what's happening, a burning of the old and an injection, this lightning of the new. So uh, leveling out of everything and then a rebuilding okay but this is the energy of the rebuilding so the recognition of who you are and then the rebuilding of it let me see the movement of cups slain rephrase A poetic moment now they're saying of justice but I'm not getting it in the poetic moment of justice as something you know like a, um, a court case is working out for you or, or anything like that you are justice you are the justice card so it's a poetic moment of the self you, you notice the whale here is just like bathing in this energy. This is a cup. So this is creativity. This is intuition. This is flow. Okay. And what is, oh, let me see. I got to put on my glasses because I think it's a, I think it's a fish. Yes, a fish. And a fish is, I mean, if you think about a fish, right, it is abundance. But it's flow. And I feel like there's something to do with your voice because it's, it's on the throat area, the fish. And I'm just getting, I'm not really getting the abundance perspective. I'm getting the flow easing the flow of communication and expression of the soul. Okay, and rising up, your vibration will be rising. Okay, so your overall um, outcome, Libra, is the Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So let's see what the Wheel of Fortune has to say, because they're saying a turnaround, a huge turnaround with the Wheel of Fortune. And this goes along with the universe, right? The number of the Wheel of Fortune is 10. 
So tens are all about beginnings and endings. So it's a whole new turnaround because it's a whole new perspective. You can't go backwards. Once you know, you cannot know. Once that veil is lifted and you see what's behind the veil, you can't go back. You just can't. It has to create something new. It has to create a new you. So let's get a... Okay, so the Three of Cups is clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. So there's you celebrating, right? This could also be you having a new perspective on dating, on love. All right? Um, I feel like because there is a new you that's emerging and the recognition of who you are, your aura will change and you will begin to attract different people. Let's see. Craziness gives way to this allotment of time that will offer you peace. So you are going to take the time out to obtain a peaceful state during the day. This is going to be important to you. This is going to be more important to you because there will be an appreciation of this peaceful state. Sheer wonder I'm getting from the Three of Cups. So you're recognizing to be in that childlike spirit is really magical. We lose that because of programming. You know, you have to grow up. No, you don't. Yes, you have responsibility, but you need to, you need to hold that childlike spirit and keep that magic because this is the risk taker. This is the magic. This is the wonder. This is seeing things from a wondrous eye. And this is coming back to you. This is coming back to you, this wonder. So the seven of uh, pentacles, and this is what's going to attract actually people to you, okay? In a very bright, fun way. So you're gonna be dating and having fun in a very go with the flow, um, not really looking for love, but taking action to find love, if that makes sense. You're not trying hard. So uh, let's see, Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles is clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like this is where you're emerging from, this Five of Pentacles state, this feeling of something's missing. I can't quite put it together, right? I'm, I'm at a loss. Um, could have been victim mentality too, feeling sorry for yourself, feeling, um, looking on the outside instead of on the inside, which is why that innocence of, of swords is here for the overall energy. Now you're saying, okay, like if you're coming from here, let me take a pentacle, let me plan it because I now have a new perspective and I know one of my pentacles can grow despite what I'm feeling, despite what's being shown to me on the outside. I'm planning it because I now know it can grow. And the seed may even be planted within you. It's not external. It's internal. And with planting that seed, it seeds our potential. And that is energy, which changes your aura. So let's see what the tree has to say. Rising above one's purpose. To see where you go from here. It's like um, your vibration is rising. So you're seeing everything from up above and you're recognizing your purpose at least the beginning of it. Can you tell me anything about love? A leaning towards another whose standards are set high. So I feel like who you're attracting is somebody with, um, somebody who knows their worth, okay? And 
That's because you do now in a different way. Okay, you don't know your worth from an egoic standpoint. You know your worth, your, your worth from a spiritual one, from existence, right? From, from existing, the mere fact that you exist means you're worth something. Is different from, I know my worth, I want A, B, C, and D. It's, it's not about the outside, it's about the inside, and what's going to be reflected is somebody who recognizes the same. So, wow, Libra, um, this is a fabulous reading. This is great growth. Uh, so I wish you luck in that. And I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already have not If you're interested in a reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. And I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of love tarot. Namaste.